So you want to move to Charleston and you want to know what the five pros and the five cons are? Well, we're going to talk about it today. Let's go. What's up everybody, it's Bill Olson here. I'm a local realtor in Charleston, South Carolina. And today we're gonna to be talking about my five pros and my five cons, what I love and what I hate about living right here in Charleston, South Carolina. Now, if this is your first time visiting or you haven't done so yet, go right below here, go ahead and uh, click the little subscribe button, ring that bell to make sure that you're notified anytime I put out a new video. I love putting out content about what it's like to live, work, and play right here in Charleston, South Carolina. You know, even though there's these cons, it's still my favorite city in the world. And if you're considering a move here, please don't hesitate to reach out, text, call, email, throw up the smoke signals, whatever your preferred method of contact is, get in touch with me and let's get you here. I have been helping people from all over the country and all over the world move right here into Charleston. And I've got a system in place that can make it as easy and stress-free as possible, but you have to reach out. Now, without further ado, let's start with my five favorite things about living right here in Charleston. Number one, the beaches. Number one, the beaches. Wherever you are in Charleston, you are never far from an amazing public beach. Whether you prefer Isle of Palms, Sullivan's Island, Folly Beach, Kiowa Beach Walker, or down on Edisto, you always have a place to go to enjoy the sands and the water. Something you need to remember when you visit these beaches is since they are all public, they do have their own sets of rules, uh, which I did a video for. Um, I'll throw a link down below um, and then one up here. Be sure to watch that before you go so you don't get a ticket. Number two, the history. As the oldest city in South Carolina, Charleston is ripe with history. Whether it's history about pirates or the start of the Civil War, or you know, you just want to walk down the street of the cobblestone streets and turn into the old graveyards and see the old gravestones, which you know just tell stories of their own. There is always something new to learn right here in Charleston. Number three is the property taxes. Now, being a realtor, this is one of my favorites. Um, you know, we have a lot of people moving here from up north where you know, you're seeing all these expensive property taxes. And you know, Charleston, we have, or South Carolina as a matter of fact, has the fifth lowest property taxes in the country. They come out to about a half percent of your assessed value. So if you're looking to move somewhere to get a break on your property taxes, um, Charleston is definitely a place for you. Number four is the food. If you know me, you know I love to eat and I love all foods. I come from a restaurant background. You know, being a very tourist town, you know, that just breeds great restaurants and you know, everything from a hole in the wall to fine dining, you're gonna find some amazing food here. Something for everyone in the family to enjoy on all budgets. Number five is there's always something to do. You know, one thing that I've loved about living here in Charleston is that year round, there is constantly something going on for me and my family to do. And you know, that doesn't just mean like going to the park or going to a farmer's market. Um, there's always festivals going on. And if you don't want to tackle those crowds, you, know, you can always just go downtown, explore, go to the libraries. There's a ton of great museums. There's so much to learn. You know, this goes back to the beaches and the history and all of that. You know, you can just always find something amazing going on that the whole family can enjoy. Well, there you have it. Those are my five things I love about living in Charleston. So now let's get into the five things that I hate. Number one, the flooding. Charleston lies in an area called the Low Country, and once you move here, you'll understand why. Um, when we have a large rain event, you know, you can double that with a high tide, you will definitely see areas with a lot of standing water. Some areas are more prone to flooding than others. So if you're looking to move into a certain area, definitely hit me up. I can give you all the inside information to know if you're gonna end up seeing water there or not. Number two is the traffic. Now, 
being on the coast and most people working downtown, there's only a certain number of directions that people can go. You know, you're gonna see the most traffic during morning rush hour heading into downtown and evening rush hour heading outside of downtown. Let me preface this with, yes, our traffic is terrible, but if you come from a larger city, um, you know, our traffic really in the grand scheme of things isn't that bad. Sometimes you just need to plan for a few extra minutes when leaving the house during these peak hours. Number three, the heat and humidity. During the peak summer months, it gets very hot and very humid. Some days you don't even want to go outside. But conversely, we do have amazing winters and very mild. We rarely see snow, rarely see ice. So if you can take the heat for a few months out of the year, then the rest of the year is going to be extremely comfortable. Number four, hurricanes. We live on the coast, so therefore we are going to get hurricanes. It's just a way of life. Some people are terrified. Um, I was when I first moved here and first sign, boom, we were out. You know, we're still very cautious, but you know, the nice thing about a hurricane, well, there's nothing nice about them, is that they do start far away and they move very slow. So you do have plenty of time to prepare and evacuate if need be. Number five is the sales tax. Now, as I said, the property tax is so low, our sales tax is actually fairly high at 9%. Now, on top of that, if you plan on going out to eat and having some alcoholic beverages, you can actually plan on paying up to 12% sales tax on alcoholic beverages. Now, I don't think this is a huge con um, unless you're someone who likes to go out to eat and have drinks, you know, three, four, five nights a week. Um, if it's just an occasional thing, the offset from the property taxes will actually still save you money on your taxes. So there you have it, folks. My five pros and five cons of living right here in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, if you have any other pros or cons, go ahead, drop them down in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Um, if you didn't before, please remember, go ahead and subscribe and hit that little bell so that you're notified when I put out any new content. And if you're thinking of moving here to Charleston, please shoot me an email, text, call, throw up the smoke signals. I love helping people move to this amazing city and find their new home right here in the number one city in America. So again, my name's Bill Olson. I'm a local realtor here in Charleston with Erie Wilder Realty. Look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.